Hi there, this is Danielle Dunlop, and today I'm going to make a card with the adorable Newton's Nook Designs Newton's Kite. This is a stamp set that came out this week, and I'll be using it on my card with the Retro Sun and Palms stencil set. And I'm also going to make this card for the current Inky Paws Challenge, which is a one layer card. So there's going to be some masking involved. I'm starting here to figure out where I want that sunset to be. And I don't want the masking to be too complicated. Um, there's this little string on the kite. And I didn't want to make a mask for that part. Because that is a little too delicate to cut out. Once I have Newton in place, I am going to stamp him on my card base and then next it's time to mask him up i made the mask already uh, before this video so you don't have to watch me fussy cutting <laughs> so as you can see i only have a mask for newton and for the kite and i left the strings out of the mask the mask for the kite was not really necessary, but I made it anyway. Um, it's just not going to be covered with some stenciling, but it's always good to have it there anyway. I'm using my Wendy Facky Make Art Station, which is my very favorite tool to do some stenciling. It keeps everything perfectly in place with the magnets. And once I have that sunset in place, I'm going to start inking it up. For the red of the sunset, I'm using Distress Oxide Abandoned Coral. And then I will have that blended into Distress Oxide Wild Honey. And at the top, there's going to be Distress Oxide Squeezed Lemonade. Once I'm happy with my blend, I'm going to remove the stencil and I dried those colors first before I went into the next step. And I'm placing the palms on the sunset. I'm not going to use the birds on the stencil right now, so I put a post-it on it to block it off just in case. And I'm going to stencil the palm trees with Distress Ink Black Soot. So it's going to look like a real sunset. Once I have my palm trees in place, I make sure that I dry it completely so I can't smear anything of the black ink. I cleaned my stencil pretty good too. And now I'm going to ink blend the birds in between those palm trees and I'm using the black soot color for that as well. Once the birds are in place, it's time to remove the masks. And I always love this review. <laughs> you get a better idea of what your image is going to look like. Um, because I dried my inks, it's a little harder to remove the masks again. So be careful that you're not ripping any of your card base because that can easily happen. Just be careful when you take those masks off. Now it is time to start coloring Newton and his kite 
with Copic markers. If you look closely, you see this is a different background than I just made. The birds are missing on this one. Um, I initially made another card and then I forgot to keep recording while I started coloring. So I had to make another one. So I will show you both cards at the end of this video. Nothing wrong with having two cards, right? You can always send them out to some people. Um, so for now, you can watch the coloring and all the caps of the Copics I'm using, you will see at the top left of the screen.
So now that Newton and his kite are colored, I'm going to add the sentiment. On this card, I'll be using Soaring By with Birthday Wishes for Mew. It's so cute. The other options you, ha you have from this stamp set is Soaring By with Sky High Thanks and Soaring By with Positive Vibes. They're all great sentiments. Uh, on the one you just saw me doing, I used the Birthday Wishes. The card uh, I made in the beginning of the video, I used the sentiment Soaring By with Positive Vibes. What I did different on the other card as well is the coloring of the kite. I made a teal kite and also Newton's colors were a little different. I used the E50s on Newton and for the card you saw me coloring in this video, I used the E40s Copics to color Newton. So here I have both my cards on a card base. Remember, this is for the Inky Paws Challenge, a one layer card. So it's just my background that goes on a card base. And here are both my finished cards. I think they turned out both super, super cute. I decided in the end to add the birds to the one with the purple kite anyway, because I think it's just completing the scene. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that I inspired you to use Newton's kite. Please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.